to write the formula for phosphorus trichloride. First, we need to figure out what type of compound we have. If we look at the periodic table here, broken up into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we can find phosphorus, that's right here, and then chloride, that's for the chlorine, that's right here. So we have two nonmetals. When we have two nonmetals, we have what's called a molecular, also called a covalent compound. We can use these rules right here to write the formula for phosphorus trichloride. So first we'll write the element symbol for each element. Phosphorus, that's P, and then chloride, that's from chlorine, that's Cl. Next, we'll place a subscript after each element according to its prefix. When you look at phosphorus here in the name, there's no prefix. That means we have just one phosphorus atom. We don't write the one though by convention, we just assume that it's there. For the chloride, that's our chlorine here, we have tri. Tri, that means three, so we'll have three chlorine atoms. And this is the formula for phosphorus trichloride, PCL3. If you need help memorizing these prefixes here, this table might be useful. This is Dr. B with the formula for phosphorus trichloride, PCL3. Thanks for watching.